We do not love simply because God commands it. We love because if it were not for God, love would never exist. Do you realize that? If it wasn't for God, there would be no love. It wouldn't, you know, that the love wouldn't be created as an emotion. It wouldn't be created as a state of life. It, it, it would be non-existent. It would be disastrous. It's only because of God that there's love. Only because of Him. So it totally um, obliterates an atheist's belief in philosophy. <laughs> you know? So, um, love would not exist. We love because he, <coughs> excuse me, because he loves. <coughs> Very simple. And we get that, again, we get that capability through word and sacrament ministry. Okay? So let me pray this prayer for you. So, O oh God, please give us such perfect love of you and our neighbor that all fear may be cast out of our hearts and that we may with confidence greet you on the day of judgment. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So I pray that will bless us, inspire us, encourage us, and give us genuine real peace this morning. Because, oh Lord, we ask that you please have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and then keep it. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. We praise you, O oh God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. All the earth now worships you, the Father everlasting. To you all angels cry aloud, the heavens and the powers therein. To you cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of your glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise you. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise you. The noble armies of martyrs praise you. The holy church throughout all the world does acknowledge you. The Father of an infinite majesty, your adorable, true, and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. You are the King of glory, O God. You are the everlasting Son of the Father. When you took upon yourself to deliver man, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. When you had overcome the sharpness of death, you opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of the Father. In the glory of the Father, we believe that you will come to be our judge. We therefore pray you to help your servants, whom you have redeemed with your precious blood. Make them to be numbered with your saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save your people and bless your heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day, we magnify you and we worship your name forever and ever. Grant, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy on us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let your mercy be upon us as our trust is in you. O Lord, in you have we trusted, let us never be confounded. So Lord, have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer, and so together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So, O oh Lord, hear our prayers, that our cries come to you. The Lord be with us and with our spirits. We continue to pray. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. 
Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, thank you for chiming in this Saturday morning, December the 10th. It's really appreciated. Uh, I see a number of you uh, chiming in. Good morning to each and every one of you, and uh, blessings to you in abundance. Wonderful day here in Cochise County in southern Arizona in the United States. Clear day, cool, but uh, very nice. It's going to be sunny. And so the wheels and flaps have been retracted, and I convey to each and every one of you tremendous blue skies. <laughs>